What's up guys, wanted to put together another video for you this week and I wanted to talk about the evolution of a trader or at least the evolution of my journey and I think that a lot of people are gonna be able to resonate with this. I wanna talk about five steps that most traders, not everybody, some people just go immediately to mentorship, they humble their ego, they go, I don't even know what I don't know, I don't even know the questions they ask, so let me go learn from professionals. But most people do this, and I did this too, and this is why it took me three years to get any form of real consistency or profitability, and it was a, it was a mind job, dude. It was, it was very hard, and it's exhausting. So if this sounds like you, let's corral this a little bit, let's reshape it, but check this out. Most traders try to do it themselves. I tried to do it myself. I, the first trade I ever took in the stock market was a Scott trade account like eight years ago. I, I bought a five cent stock. I thought I was gonna be rich if it goes to 20 cents or $2. I thought I you know, invented the next Amazon by buying this stock for a hundred dollar position. It goes down to like two to three cents in the same day. I'm freaking out. I have no idea what I got myself into. A little bit of money, but it wasn't about the money. It was the fear of no control. And it was the fear of like, dude, I, I don't know what I don't know. Like, why is my money going down? So number one is most traders try to do it themselves. No, 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 no. Big caveat. Number two is this is the stage where you have bad habits. And what I mean by that is I'm trying to think of my journey. This is where you just don't even know what you're learning. And, and there's such bad habits. Like you don't even know you're forming such bad habits. You don't know that you're like, building these neural pathways of like in your brain of these stems of memory of revenge trading or oversizing or getting too excited, getting too horny for a trade, or I'm trying to think of all the, you know, the memories that I went through and it's you, you're not even really learning and you're developing these bad habits. This is the stage where it's just, you really don't even know. It's really terrible. And it's kind of like the stage of one, but it's just a progression and a little bit of momentum of one going into stage, stage two. Number three is what most traders kind of, a lot of experience in the beginning and it's big loss stage. Or if not big losses, just constant losing. Those bad habits in step one and two, you don't know how to make money. And not only do you not know how to make money, the momentum and the mental state that is so exhausting of trying to figure this out is like, I just keep losing money. What the hell? I just keep losing money. Like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Win, loss, loss, loss. Step forward, step back, back, back. Like that's kind of step three. Step four is what I like to say that you tow the line enough and you'll get paid for it, right? Like in the real world. It's kind of like a dose of reality. Well, that's trading. You put in two to three years, you may have bad habits. They might be ingrained like neural pathways, but you're going to be learning at least something, I'm assuming, at least if you watch screens a lot and, and put in a couple years, this is the treading water phase. This is your, your, your break even. So four is not necessarily bad, but it can all be mitigated from one to three. So I'll explain. So step four, you're, you're not consistent, you're not profitable yet, but you're seeing light at the end of the tunnel because you put in enough hours. Draining, exhausting. Step one through three, yikes. What I mean is, is traders literally can bypass step one, step two, and step three, and go straight to step four, which even if they're not making money, they're not big losses, they're not um, you know, building all these bad habits if they get the right mentorship, they're not in a state of like survival mode and, and just mental exhaustion. That's what I'm trying to say. So step four is, okay, you're not necessarily making a ton of money yet, but you're not like way behind mentally and also in your PL curve. You're not like having to make back tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars, depending on how long you've been in this game and how much size you put on. Step five is exactly what anybody can guess. You finally, however you did it, mentorship or no mentorship, you got profitable, you got consistent. It took me three years, man, three years of ego and sizing too much and revenge trading and not asking for the right help in the beginning. I asked for help within the first year and I joined a community, but boy, was I chasing alerts, wasn't the right community, built these bad habits, they were basically fraudsters, things like that. So that's not gonna help anybody. So what I'm saying is, if I'm saying anything, is traders can save years on their life, years. So much mental anguish that you go through in a journey of not even needing to go through step one, two, and three and go straight to the right mentorship, 
basically break even in the beginning, which is a huge win if that's where you start, but you're understanding and you're learning and you're building momentum and habits that are gonna get you to five profitable, consistent, and you know why you're doing it. So that every day forward, you go to, you, you wake up and you go to the markets and you expect a paycheck of some form. Obviously, when you lose, it's calculated. You take a loss every now and then. Welcome to trading. You're not going to be a winner 100% of the time. I'm sorry. It's like dating. It's a numbers game, right? But when you have an edge, when you have a process, the numbers are really in your favor when you have that. Maybe 90%, nine times out of 10, nine trades out of 10, maybe you lose one and then you have risk management to mitigate it quickly. So that's kind of the full scope journey of a trader. And I swear to God, man, I swear to you, step one through three is unnecessary, but that road is taken by a lot of people. The road less traveled is, I don't know anything. I need help. Let me start with help. Let me build good habits and then, then let me evolve into a good trader because I don't have to unlearn all this BS that's going to make it a very hard journey. And then you're just going to overthink everything. This is a personal issue to me guys. Cause this was my journey. I went from step, I went from step zero. <laughs> I tried to do it. I tried to do it myself. And then it was just a lot harder of a road than sucking up the ego and just saying, you know what, dude, I'm learning a new craft. This is a language. Let me, let me get the help I need. So if you guys got any help from this, man, I just want to help people. I wish I could go back in time eight years and talk to someone like me or get help from something like MIC and text my line at 213-458-5997. I'd love to hear what's kind of like hindering your trading, hindering your mental state, um, keeping you from what you want. And we can help that. And then also multi seven figure year trader, Alex Demis put together the most wonderful webinar on all of this. And uh, you can find that at myinvestingclub.com slash webinar. Come check us out.